Hey guys, another great day here in Rochester, Michigan. It is the summer. Um, I have another webcam video for you guys, and um, it's mostly because I feel like this is just easier to do over webcam. Um, but anyways, today I got the a review of the newer um, LED light, 160 LEDs on this baby, 40 bucks, best light I've ever purchased, hands down. Um, I also purchased these sweet uh, daylight bulbs, so my room's a lot brighter, and uh, you can actually see me. I do realize that the webcam's a little, mm, a little greeny, at least I can see it on my end, but nonetheless, um, yeah, let's just get to it. So it comes in this cheap box, um, it was a really crappily designed box, made in China for sure, but almost everything is today, whether it's quality or not. Every Apple product is made in China. So, um, so quality, and then you got cheap stuff too. But uh, nothing else came, actually that's false, nothing else is in the box, um, but if you saw the unboxing, which I think I posted it, if you haven't, there's a link below. So, let's get onto the light here, and uh, let me grab these filters that also came with it. So it takes, it takes five kinds of batteries, um, if you want. Um, you got double A's, which I, I tried for a little while, but then um, I had these Sony Info Lithiums that my... Uh, my dad had laying around from his old camcorders and DV decks and stuff from the uh, the um, the four by three days, not this new widescreen stuff, which I love. Um, but so I had I've been using those because they actually they're rechargeable. I got the charging station, it just worked out. Um, and then this is just a tripod adapter. But we'll get to that part point later. Now it comes like this, and as you can see, that's a lot of LEDs. Now I'm gonna turn them on. And, uh, yeah, it's bright. It's real bright. Um, so as you can see, there's a lot of them. Um, and they get really friggin' bright. Uh, you, you really can't look at it without hurting yourself. So you put this on to diffuse the light and make it look more presentable on people and objects. And actually, what I've found with this light is that you can point it up at the ceiling. And, uh, the thing's... Excuse me, excuse me. And then the things around you get brighter. So sometimes I don't even point at the subject. As you probably noticed in a couple of my mobile videos, um, I just point the light up at the top of my desk, and uh, it gets it gets brighter. So you can see kind of a little brighter. So I've been trying to incorporate more light into the video, my videos, make things look better, because that's light is photography, is photos, is everything we see. So I'm going to throw this away, because I've been meaning to throw it away since... I bought this thing, I just needed to do a review first, and it has useful information on it. So, also included with this, um, besides some random documentation, written in horrible English, horrible, horrible English, are two more filters. You got a, a soft pink one over here, and a nice orange one over here for more sunlight and more, um, well, I don't really know, I would just use this for sunlight. I haven't used this one. I actually haven't used either of them. But, they come in a nice little case, I guess, I don't know. It protects them from getting scratched, which is all that really matters. Um, it kind of just stays in my photography drawer. But nonetheless, um, it's a pretty nice light. It's it's amazing light for forty bucks. A um, couple complaints, nothing too major. On the back here, um, got the test light. They're all red. I mean, I wish you know it was red when it was bad when there was one, and then all green would be you know, full. But uh, that's really just a a minor complaint, but I guess that's what you get for 40 bucks. So, you open it up here in the back. This is annoying, but nonetheless, you have to open this up every time you want to change the batteries. And it's got this giant window, so if you use double A's, you use six double A's, or eight double A's, six double A's, um, you, you see the double A's through it, the back is kind of cheesy, but then again, it has to be open for it to accommodate this. But then again, you have to take this off, Change this battery, and it's hard sometimes. Like it doesn't want to come out. Um, but I guess that's what you get for versatility of battery. Um, once again, though, it it doesn't bother me. It's a it's a really cheap forty dollar light. Let's see if this clicks back in now. There we go. Cha cha. Sometimes I have issues. I used to have issues putting in these batteries, um, but. They're settled now. And then putting in and taking out AA batteries, it's pretty easy. Uh, no complaints there. I used to use uh, Apple rechargeables, uh, the Andy Loops with the Apple battery charger, and they work just fine as well. Um, 
my one real complaint, other than there isn't a super dim setting, would love just a little, 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 little less than that. But um, is this this little stand at the bottom here? This is really the only fault that it has. Um, one screwing on the thing, it does have a hot shoe mount, which is kind of cool if you wanted to put it on a hot shoe, which I originally was going to do, but I figured out pick placing light farther away and not directly on the object made uh, lighting unboxings and such a lot easier. Um, but is this is the stand itself? It's pretty flimsy. Um, let me just un do this real quick. Um, as you can... Yeah, it's pretty, you can hear it's kind of crunchy. I usually just leave it straight up and then adjust it on the tripod. Um, it's actually a pretty, pretty clear picture for webcam. Um, but I usually just leave it straight up and then adjust it with the tripod. Down here, you have a little, a little, uh, twisty twisty for the hot shoe mount and uh, on a tripod mount so I just twisted this down because I thought it was beneficial for keeping it locked down I don't really know why and then untwisting this is pretty simple um, so there's the actual how it comes that was my tripod edition so you can twist on a hot shoe mount let me just get one real quick here we go so hot shoe, this thing goes on the sides for extra grip, but it's got hot shoes, so. And then that just kind of goes there, and you twist this down. I actually did use this once for, uh, we did a nighttime mm, stuff for my fraternity, and I ran around with my camera and this on it, and it's, uh, it shakes a little bit. You can see that there. Um, but, I mean, overall, for 40 bucks, this is a friggin' steal. So, bottom line here, closing it up, if you need a cheap, super bright, and uh, pretty damn versatile light, um, it takes all kinds of batteries, mounts on just about anything, this is the light for you. 40 bucks, I believe, still. Amazon, right right down there. And, uh, you know, you, if you do any kind of video or photography needs and you don't have any lights, you, you should get a light for one. And you should definitely get this one if you're on a budget. So, um... That's really all I gotta say. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you're subscribed, thanks for subscribing. If you're going to subscribe, thank you for growing the community. And uh, that's all I really got for today. So, I will see you guys in the next video. And uh, au revoir. Apparently, I'm French now. I don't even know French. Parlez-vous de français? No, I don't speak French. I'm sorry. Little uh, little extra tip here if you guys are sticking around after the video. But anyways, this is how I use my light. So I got an old tripod, the first tripod I ever bought, and uh, it's, it cracked a little bit. So I didn't want to use it for my DSLR anymore, just in case you know some catastrophic happened. Um, but anyways, it works great for this light. The light's nice weight. Um, you can spin it around and put it pretty much anywhere. And uh, you can detach it when you're done. And pack it away. So that's my uh, quick little tip. You get an old tripod and uh, use it for your lights.